If you think about the products we buy today, yesterday we bought a purely mechanical watch. Today it's a smart, connected product. You find the same thing in your car. To be able to design these products, to manufacture these products, is only possible with a high level of automation in your factory, taking advantage of all the data that were created in the process of designing these smart, connected products. Digitalization automation really is growing together. So it's a radical change how we manufacture, but it's also a radical change how we design. Local Motors is a great example for this. Local Motors is about open source hardware or co-creation with a global community plus micromanufacturing. And so if you can make 10 of something and then get consumer feedback and make 10 more that are better, it allows you to rapidly innovate. Most recently, 3D printing has been a tool that we've used to be able to make the very first 3D printed car. We do uh, the majority, if not all, of our design for the 3D printed car in Siemens modeling software. We can see where we need to add material or where we can take away material and help us design for the least amount of material that we need, but also the safest car that we can. You not only see the product digitally, but you also can test every element of this product, how it will behave, before you produce it. You can do exactly the same with manufacturing facilities. You have a digital twin of the factory, you can optimize it, you can do everything you want on your computer screen, and when you know now it's perfect, then you implement it. Digital manufacturing enables one car to be different from the last car that came off the line, and every single unit is probably going to be just a little bit better than the last. With micro factories like here in DC, we can integrate technology at the speed of innovation. If you want to be leading in a field, you have to work with the most challenging customers. And Local Motors is a very challenging customer because they are working at the edge of innovation. It gives you really an eye on where manufacturing is going in the future.